Yo, yo, boys, back with another video. Before we start off with this video, anybody that wants to go on the Patreon, there is a, another sub road guide for the Trickster build. Now, most of these will be free, so if you just do this, um, just join as a member. Obviously, there's a seven day free trial. You will be able to see these videos. I'm pretty sure right now they're for literally anybody. So I don't even think you have to be a paid member or anything. I don't think I'll do that until later on once we, you know, get more members and stuff like that. So it'll be linked down in the description if you would like to see that video. It'll only be on the Patreon, the Trickster build. So if you're looking for something like that, which is basically the overall better build, that's where that's going to be. So make sure you just go down in the description below and that'll be that. Now this is going to be an updated version of the War Within tier list because um, after some nerfs and buffs, some classes are worse, some classes are better. And we kind of are seeing a lot of different classes but not really we're saying fury warrior bm hunters uh, a few warlocks maybe a few sps mainly just bm though um anything with bm hunters is really insane right now so that's pretty much what you're going to be seeing but i'm gonna try to the best of my ability just do an overall list but um that's pretty much that so uh first we're going to be starting off with the obvious we're going to be starting off with bm hunter which is going to be our number one spec in the game um, even after the nerfs, they're still insane. I mean, you see these guys in every bracket, uh, solo shuffle, threes, twos, whatever you want to call it. They're doing insane AOE damage, so I don't see why they wouldn't be number one in Blitz. Uh, I'd say even better than MM Hunter, just because of their AOE. When I played on my BM Hunter, uh, I was doing just unhealable damage. So if you're looking to play uh, Hunter in general right now, I think BM is going to be your number one in every single category, pretty much. Your next is going to be Survival Hunter. Uh, it's actually pretty viable. Uh, better than I thought. I think, honestly, it's better than MM. Uh, it has pretty good burst, and I'd say it's it's definitely not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. It's definitely like A tier, but it's not it's not like high A or anything. I'd say it's like mid A. It's where like Sub Rogue is, pretty much. And then we have MM, which is behind um, Survival Hunter. That's kind of an obvious. Let me turn this off real quick so I don't get this popping up every two seconds. Okay. So MM Hunter, not in the best spot. Its burst is kind of mediocre. And the problem with MM is obviously its consistency isn't really good. These type of classes that are burst reliant need immense burst damage. And if they don't, they just don't work well. So right now, BM is probably your best option. Your next option is Survival Hunter. And then obviously your third option is going to be MM Hunter. Next one is going to be um, Warrior. So Fury Warrior, I don't know, all of a sudden, they're uh, just really good. Um, honestly, I would put them, either, right now I'll put it S tier, but it's probably going to be high A. Uh, I think mainly you see a lot of these guys because they are they just have a lot of burst damage. And then obviously their MS is pretty insane. Uh, put a BM with a Fury Warrior, and that's probably one of your better comps to play right now. BM Fury Warrior is just insanely strong. It usually would never be this strong, but it, it's just the amount of damage you're getting with these specs are just absolutely broken. I see that almost almost every 3v3 arena that we played over like 1800, maybe 1700, you're going to see at least like a few of these easily. Arms Warrior is also going to be really good. And overall, it's probably, um, see, the, the problem with Arms Warrior, I think it's overall, it's better, but, like, you just don't see it more, it's like, it's, it's weird, I, I just feel like it's a weird spec, I think it's really good still, I'd say right now it's probably behind Fury Warrior, and maybe, maybe in between, honestly, it's kind of weird to put Arms Warrior up here, because, like, I feel like Arms Warrior is really good, but I don't really see it with BM Hunters. I think Fury's just more consistent, and an Arms Warrior just has immense burst damage. So they're both just really good. But all both all, both of Warriors are just really viable. You can play Rep Warrior, Hunter Warrior, Enhanced Warrior. You know, there's there's a few comps that you can play with this, and you can make it work. But as of right now, they're pretty much good in everything. I'd say they're they're better in twos, good in threes. Good in everything. I don't really see Warriors being bad. Unless maybe you're talking about Blitz and maybe RBGs where you can, you know, argue that something else might be better. 
but for now we'll put these here. Uh, these this might obviously change, but for right now I think I've seen them enough to be like okay, they're, they're insane. But obviously BM's in a different category. Next one is going to be Ferrodurid, which I would say is better than Weir, but worse than Fer uh than Hunter. Feral Druid, you're just getting all quality of life with it. You're getting CC, you're getting insane burst damage, you're getting AoE damage. It's good in every single category. Now, it's probably going to be a little worse in Solo Shuffle just because of how good, like, your healer needs to be really insane to keep you up. Because Feral Druid does take a lot of damage. Uh, and because you're, you're outside cloning so much that it just gives a lot of windows for you to die. So, overall, it's still really good. Obviously, Feral Hunter is going to be your best comp in the game right now. Feral Mage is okay as well. There's just a lot of things that you can do. Boomy is also going to be really insane. Um, I'm going to put it as more as A tier right now. Just because I still think they're really good and really insane. But they're, they do lack in certain categories. So like in 3v3 Arena they can work. The problem is is when BM, when other classes are the meta. What ends up happening is they absolutely butcher certain classes. So like a BM Hunter going up against a Boomy, you're probably going to see where that problem's going to, you know, that there's just going to be a problem there. Because Hunter's doing so much consistent damage and burst damage that the Boomy's just going to have to sit in bear form the entire game. And there's so many BM Hunters that you have to take into account that just because this class is this broken, it's going to make other classes seem weak. Boomy is really insane. The problem is Boomy's not that good when you have a BM Hunter, you know, attacking you the entire game. But uh, overall, Boomy's, you know, doing insane damage. It's really good overall. It's just, you know, it, I don't think it's competing with BM or any of these other ones here. Next one is going to be Restored, which is going to be viable, but um, definitely a little lower on the list here. I'd say it's better than Holy Priest, and that's about it. Maybe it can it can go up against uh, Resto Shaman, but... That's it, pretty much. I think Mistweaver, after the buff, they're actually doing pretty good. I see a lot more Mistweavers, a lot of Age Spells, a lot of Prez Evokers, even Disc Priest. But I think Restored, it just dies too quick. Like, any of these classes that go on uh, Restored, he's just going to die. So I don't see a lot of Restored in general. They're just not the best. And obviously, since Purging is a big benefit on every class, you're just, especially on Prez Evokers and really any spec, that's like a disc or anything. They just perma purge your hot. So it's like you put up hots just to get them all purged. And then you get one shot. It's just it's not a fun time. But uh, that's pretty much that. Next one that we're going to be going over is going to be Arcane Mage. Which honestly I underestimated Arcane Mage. I think Arcane is actually doing really good. Uh, I'd say honestly it's better than the 200 specs right now. I don't know if you guys have seen the damage. But. All of a sudden, these guys are doing unhealable damage, uh, especially on their burst. Like, they're able to keep up and burst, for sure. Um, I'd say they're definitely up there, and the only reason they're not better than Boomy is just overall, I think Boomy's just probably better. Um, maybe maybe you could say Mage Arcane is better, but I think just, I think Arcane is Mage is really good in 3v3. And then maybe like Solo Shuffle, and then obviously Blitz, it could do really good. But uh, I don't really see it in, you know, that good in 2v2 arena. But like in 3s, if you play a good comp, I feel like Arcane can, you'll see it's, uh, you'll see it do, does pretty well. Next one that we're going to be going over is going to be Fire Mage, which is going to be completely awful. Uh, this spec has gotten literally the most hate that I've ever seen Blizzard give a class. Um, it's like they did the Sub Rogue treatment, but at least Sub Rogue still has some way to burst damage. But... Fire Mage just got absolutely, br it's been terrible for like two expansions now. The way they tried to make this, like destroy the spec and make it an AoE spec, and now they just forget about it, it's crazy. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much garbage. And then we have Frost Mage, which is going to be probably the better spec at the moment. Now I'd say Frost Mage is still really good, I'd say it's probably better than Boomy. I don't see it that often. Um, I don't know what happened. Or I, I think I just I, I think just BM hunters are just so strong right now that you a uh, mage would just get absolutely toasted. So I think frost mage is still viable, but like I feel like the S tiers are just they're they're consistently they're just overall a little bit better. And honestly, you can even say 
right now Fury's maybe a... It's kind of weird. I feel like Fury's better in threes, but that's it. Like, I feel like in Solo Shuffle and everything else, it, Arms is better. That's the only reason I'm putting Arms over Fury. Because I, I swear, I see Fury so much more than Arms. But that's only because it works with a BM Hunter. It's actually crazy. That one class can save a spec and make it good. So these can be flip-flops. Just, you know, I'll, we'll see what we put these at. So the next spec that we're going to be going over is going to be Elemental Shaman, which is actually doing pretty well. Now, it is a burst reliant spec. Now, I'm pretty sure, you know, you don't really see these guys just 100 own constantly, but you do see them having immense burst damage. I would say they're probably overall better than Boomy and Arcane. I feel like Arcane and Boomy are really good burst, but like they don't have consistency and where Frost doesn't have that much consistency, or Ellie and Frost are probably, they're just that spec that, you know, works well with a lot of other comps. And I feel like the casters, they're all pretty good. They're okay. They're definitely viable. And I'd say they're, they're definitely not bad. I think all four of those specs are solid. And you can argue whether you want to put Boomy above Ellie, Ellie of whatever. But uh, yeah, they're all similar, to be honest. I'd say Arcane is probably a little lower than Boomy. Like, these, this would probably be, be the lineup here. But who knows? You could say that uh, Arcane's better than Boomy. Next thing that we're going to be going over is going to be Paladin. H-Bell is going to be S tier. Now, if you have best in slot and enchants, Paladin's great. If you're playing a good comp, Paladin's great, but when you're trying to gear a Paladin, it feels really bad, because it is a burst reliant healer, so like, when you don't have everything you need, uh, it's not going to feel that good, but if you have everything you need, it's great, it's a good spec, you have a lot of utility, uh, your Fair Baron's coming down is a great thing, Land Hand's not getting affected by dampening, I wish Mistweavers had that for their orb, where it didn't get affected by um, dampening, that would be great, but uh, oh well, h pal's pretty good though. Rhett Paladin is also really good. I'd say it's one of the better specs right now. Um, if I had to put somewhere, I would probably put it around high A, honestly. I'd say it's a little bit behind Frost Mage. But I think Rhett Paladin, it has damage. If you play it really good, it can be really good. However... Obviously, BM Hunters and stuff like that. The, the good thing with Rep Paladin is BM Hunter works with Rep Paladin. But Rep Paladin by itself, is it's okay. It does burst damage. I just feel like it takes unhealable damage. Like, when I try to heal it, like, if you don't have a really good Rep, it just doesn't feel like... it. Just It's really hard to heal them. Like, they take a lot of damage. After their bubble, they just... They will die, like, really quick. But I think their damage and everything is great. And the only reason I, I honestly, you could even say they're better than Frost Mage, to be honest. I'd say they're one of the better melees. I'd say like they're close to Weir, if not like up there, to be honest. And this might be like a better assumption, to be honest. It's just kind of weird to put these at B tier when I've seen them so much. You know? I think this might look better, honestly. I don't know. It's it's really hard to base these cl classes because they're so good with BM Hunter. I've only seen them in BM Hunter. I think we'll do it like this for now. Since we see Fury more like 20 times more than Arms, I think this might make sense. Uh, the next fight that we're going to be going over is going to be Warlock. So Affliction Warlock's actually doing pretty good right now. I'd say it's definitely the best uh, caster in A tier. Um, its overall damage is insane but again when you have bm hunters and feral druids and warriors just sitting on top of you uh, actually honestly i would honestly say it's low s to be honest i was gonna put it a tier but then like when you look all at all the specs together in the a tier none of these have consistency these are all burst reliant specs every one of them Affl affliction warlock has damage 24 7 it, there is no the, the, like it's not a burst reliant class it is a it, it's burst it's all burst. You, you just get your spells off and your burst in 24-7. I'd say it's still insane. Um, one of the better specs. I'd say, I wouldn't say it's BM level, but I'd say it's probably like right here. I'd still say it's insane. And SP is going to be close to that as well. SP is insane as well. Uh, and then we got Destro Warlock, which is actually not doing that good anymore. Um, I would honestly, casting-wise... Probably put it behind Arcane, honestly. I think 
Arcane is actually really good burst, and then Destro just requires you to get Des like bullets off to do anything. And you know, again, when there's so many kicks and so much stuff that you have to go through, you're never going to be able to cast. But if you do, if you're a really good Destro Warlock, you're going to do a lot of damn. But that's pretty much all there is to it. So it's viable if you're good. That's pretty much how it is. Demon Warlock is kind of just in the same package. Um, I'd say it's honestly better than Destro just because of the overall control. But I'd say it's only better than Destro because of its control. It's basically a sub rogue. It's meant to do CC. So like, you know, SP, Demo, Demo, Frost Mage, Demo, DK. Just, just those type of comps can work out. I'd say they're viable, so all these are viable. And honestly, this might look better to be honest. You guys will have to let me know what you guys feel about Rhett being S tier. I feel like Rhett's insane. I see a lot of these guys too, so I, I think that looks a little bit better. Like cleaner overall, depending on... Because whatever you see more is what's going to be S tier. I've seen, we all see these classes almost every other game, if not like every three games minimum. Or at least I do. But uh, that's pretty much that. Next one that we're going to be going over is going to be Mistweaver, which is going to be better than Rustled, but I wouldn't say it's S tier. I'd say it's high A. I'd say it's the highest one on the A tier list, so it's probably the fourth best healer, maybe third. It might be ahead of Disc, but I think Disc just beats it because of its CC and its utility. I think it still has enough like abilities to make it better. I'd say healing-wise, it's actually good, but like that's pretty much all. Uh, we got Windwalker here, which is going to be, I'd say it's a, it's ahead of, um, I'd say it's ahead of Warlock when it goes to Destro and Demo, but I don't think it's that good. I think its burst is great. It's like an MM Hunter, except its burst, again, when there's, when it's a meta like these, you have to have insane, you have to have Feral Dur level burst to make your spec viable if your class is based off a of burst. There's a reason MM is terrible. Or it's viable, but it's not good. Same thing with Survival Hunter. It's viable, but it's, I wouldn't say it's anywhere near Frost Mage or Arms Warrior. And honestly, you could even say this. Just to say that. Because I think Frost Mage's burst is still really good. And it still can work. I think Arm Warrior, Arms Warrior is just... In, it's where it needs to be. It just... It makes more sense to play Fury right now. Because you're just getting a lot more... Uh, consistency and your burst is like consistent. Like if you mess up with your burst on arms away, you do no damage. But if you mess up with, on your fury burst, it you kind of just have damn. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So next back that we're gonna be going over is going to be Evoker. Prez Evoker is gonna be S tier. Um, you might not see many of these specs honestly, especially Prez Evoker. I don't see them a ton, but you see them enough. If it's a good Prez Evoker, it's going to be high up on this list. Uh, Prez Evoker is doing really well. Again, I've seen more Mistweavers than Prez Evokers, but that doesn't mean it's better. Obviously, um, it just really depends on what you're playing at. Like, if you're playing at 18 or 1903s right now, and you're seeing, you know, a lot of certain classes, it's probably going to be better overall. I'd th say Mistweaver is close to being S tier. I'd say it needs it needs its orb to actually be a cooldown. I think its orb's just terrible. Like in dampening, it just it's useless. You won't out dampen these other specs. But I think Prez Evoker is still doing really good. And then we have Dev Evoker, which is actually pretty insane still, but apparently just nobody plays it. I'd say it's better than um I'd say it's probably behind Arcane to be honest. Maybe ahead of Arcane and maybe like right here overall. I think Dev Evoker Burst is still insane. I think consistency wise, it lacks where like Boomy and Arcane lack. Where they're consistent is kind of just trash. But they do burst damage. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. And then we have Augmentation, which is terrible. I'd say it's. Honestly, if you were to work it out, it's probably better than Fire Mage. I'd say just being a supportive class, I'd say it's better overall. I think Fire Mage is like the worst spec of all time right now. I think it's just terrible. So, next spec that we got is we're going to go with Shaman, which we were already on beforehand. Russell Shaman is going to be 
probably better than Rustleroo, but behind Miss Weaver. So it's still really good. I'd say it's viable, but that's pretty much it. I'd say Miss Weaver, H Pile. I'd say H Pile, Prez Evoker, Disc Priest, and then Miss Weaver, then Russell Shaman. And then we have Enhance, which is actually doing really well. Um, Enhancement Burst, especially with, um, you know, Ret Enhance, Ret Warrior. Uh, it's actually doing pretty well right now. I'd say it's probably around where Warrior is, to be honest. Maybe like behind Ellie. Nah, I think I think enhanced. Honestly, it has the burst damage. It's where it needs to be. It's like it's like it's like a wind walker, but it has the burst damage. Like it does an insane burst. I'd say it's like it's more viable now than it has been since it like since it was like broken a long time ago. I'd say it's actually really good. I've seen a lot of these guys. But uh, I don't think it's as good as like Weir, Frost, or any of the S tier. You know. Next we got Rogue. Sub Rogue. Um, it's kind of a weird one. Overall, if I had to put Sub in a legit spot, I would put it probably Let me think. I'm trying to say in all categories, which I think Sub Rogue is still viable due to the fact that it obviously it still has CC. People forget about that. Sub Rogue is terrible when it comes to damage but it still has enough cc to make like rogue mage work solo shuffle you can still get rating with it blitz it's still really good like it's still viable obviously you're not going to see a lot of these guys um but i still think all together it's still up there in the list like it's I th even though it sucks it really does it's damage is trash but it's still viable because it's you know, if you're talking about overall, if you're talking about Blitz, RBG, Solo Shuffle, 2v2 Arena, and all categories, it can work. And if it can work, then you got to look at it playing the best comp that you possibly can be playing. And if you're putting all of that together, Sub Rogue is still technically viable. And it's technically probably better than the rest of these overall. Outlaw Rogue. For some reason, people have said Outlaw Rogue is better overall. I have yet to see a single Outlaw Rogue ever. Uh, I still think Outlaw Rogue is okay. It's actually not terrible, but if I had to put it somewhere on this list, I would honestly put it here. I think it is terrible. I think, sure, it's damage is okay. It, it's literally just a dampener. That is it. If you want to play a dampener, if you're looking to play like a Warlock or something, version of a, you know, that, that's where Outlaw Rogue is. I think Outlaw Rogue is terrible. It's sure, it might be viable in some situations, but overall, it's mediocre burst. It's, it's... It's like the dampening version of any rogue spec in the game. It's boring. I, overall, it's just trash. It's it's okay, viable, sure, but it's not. I'm not gonna say it's better than these other specs that have burst damage and have consistent. Like they have way better consistency. So it's still viable, but I think sub's just way better. That's just my thoughts, though. And then we have assassination rogue, which is gonna be better than sub rogue. Uh, assassin, it actually does pretty good burst. And obviously you're getting a lot of, you're basically, you're good at everything. At every category, you're viable, you can make it work. It's still good. Assassination and sub, they're still viable. In a sense. I wouldn't say they're anywhere near S tier. Like these, they're, they're S tier or just in a different category. They're being viable 24-7. Like all of these specs up here, you you see them every other game. Every other game, I promise you that. Maybe not Prez Evoker, but you'll see them a lot. And it's kind of hard to put these up at S tier, the Rat and the Warrior, but I think um, they're either high A or they're right up there with us. Just because, you know, their environment makes them insane. But I still think they're viable and they're really good. I'd say, honestly, Rat's probably better than Fury, to be honest, but who knows. Next time we're going to be going with is Dix Priest, which is going to be our third best healer. Uh, again, you can kind of argue that Miss Weaver is better than Discs now. I see a lot more Mistweavers than Disc Breeze, but I still think Disc Breeze, with all of its cooldowns and everything, I still think it's a little bit better, and it still deserves the S tier spot. Um, it's still the third or fourth best dealer. It's still viable. You're still going to see a lot of these guys, but I think H Pals are kind of just the best. H Pals and Prez Evokers, they have a lot of healing. Disc Breeze has a lot of utility. H Pal has everything. It has a lot of utility, a lot of healing. It has everything you want. Uh, Holy Priest is going to be trash. Shadow Priest. 
Holy Priest is viable in the sense that it does healing, but it has zero defensive cooldowns. It has zero damage reduction, which is why Holy Priest, no matter how much healing it has, until it's in Shadowlands, until we go back to how Shadowlands is, Holy Priest will never be viable again. Un unless they actually give it a defensive cooldown, and it, it needs like insane healing. It's either they give them Disc Priest cooldowns, or they get healing that was like a Wrestled Rood, where it was broken. That's all there is to it. And then really good CC. They need the, you know, in cap fear again. And Door of the Shadows. I think all pre-specs deserve Door of Shadows. There's no way you can ever push for a fear in this meta. And then we have Shadow Priest. Shadow Priest is actually doing really well. I'd say it's probably the top of the A tier list. Um, it could be like here. Uh, it's kind of hard to put Shadow Priest in a in a zone. I think Shadow Priests are still insane. But I don't know where I want to put this. Let's put them uh the low S. I still think they're insane. I think they're they deserve they're better than Frost Mage, but they're probably not as good as the other S tier. I don't really see Shadow Priest a ton, but like if you put Affliction Warlock, Shadow Priest, Feral Druid, Shadow Priest, really Shadow Priest any S tier right now, it can work. BM Shadow Priest, I've seen that a lot. Well, BM can go with anything, to be fair. But I think all these specs up at S tier, they may not necessarily be S tier. But they're played so much that you would probably say they're S tier. Uh, but that's pretty much that my thought process with that. Next one we're going to be going over is going to be DH. DH is honestly, it does damage now, but I don't think it does enough to make it S tier. I'd say it's probably, probably overall right here. So I'd say it's probably better than Boomy. Actually, eh, now we'll put it behind Boomy. So it's behind Boomy, but better than Dev Evoker because it Boomy or DH does a little bit more consistent damage, and it actually does enough damage to be viable now. But I'd say like Enhancement Burst, Ellie, Boomy, Sub Rogue, Assass, Warrior. Uh, and Frost Mage are just still better in all categories, pretty much. I'd say DH still does it does a lot of damn now, but I don't think it's anywhere near as good as the uh, these other specs. At least of right now, if they get another like five percent, six percent buff on everything, then they're going to be up there. Next spec we're going to be going over is going to be an Holy DK, which is actually not doing that bad, honestly. If I had to put on Holy DK somewhere, I would probably put it in front of DH. But uh, behind Boomy, LA, and Enhance, I'd say Unholy DK is viable in a sense. I think uh, it definitely needs a damage buff. Um, or they just need to switch the, the builds back to where like it's it's not like a, a bleed build. It's kind of like a disease build right now. And I guess that's why nobody really plays it anymore. I'd say it does damage. But when you're, when you're it needs to be like an Affliction Warlock in the sense that it has damage 24-7. And Unholy DK lacks consistency. It just has a ton of burst. It's kind of like a Frost Mage, except it has a little bit more damage. But if, if they're going to do it that way, then it needs to be like an Affliction or Warlock or like a Shadow Priest with their bleeds. Still say it's viable and one of the better melees uh, con compared to like Outlaw and Moonwalker. But that's pretty much all there. And maybe DH. You can honestly say DH is better than DK, but I think overall wise, I think DK just has AMS. You know, it just has everything and you need as a compared to DH. We have Frost DK, which is going to be viable due to its burst, but that's pretty much all there is to it. So I'd probably say if I had to put it somewhere on this list, it would probably be here. I think Windwalker is terrible. I have yet to see a single Windwalker. I have yet to see a single Outlaw. I've seen one or two Demon Warlocks. I've seen one Destro Warlock. I've seen one Survival Warlock, and I've never seen an MM Hunter. So, again, these specs could be B-tier. They're only low A because they still are viable. It's just the top specs are just so broken that it makes these other specs hard to play. But that doesn't mean they're, you know, their specs by themselves are okay. Like, they're playable. They're just not, you know, B-tier unplayable. Like, B-tier is literally terrible. So, let me know what you guys think about this tier list. If you guys have any opinions or anything like that, make sure you comment down below. But, again... I have a guy now on my Patreon. Join up. There's a seven-day free, seven free trial. And honestly, as of right now, 
I don't even know if you need to be a paid member or anything right now to see those videos. I'll, I'll have to go through them checking. Somebody will have to text me on Discord. But I'm not going to try to do that until we get more people that realize I'm posting on Patreon. Because I am going to be posting separate stuff on the Patreon. And obviously in the future, you will need to be a paid you know, member to get all that exclusive stuff. But as of right now, since we've only posted like two things, you know, go ahead and check that out. But uh, it's been X. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next one.